Welcome back to our program. We're going to continue our discussion with Professor Liu Birong of the Suzhou University. Professor Liu, I know the U.S. election is very, very important. Mm -hmm. But what's more important for our audience is, you know, what happens with cross-strait relations with the new American president. Mm -hmm. Although the two major candidates throughout the campaign have reiterated the official American policy, you know, which is one China principle, mm -hmm. uh, no uh, you know, unilateral change to the status quo, peaceful resolution of dispute, and the strict adherence to the U.S.-China Three Communicates and also Taiwan Relations Act. Mm -hmm. But how do you think the relationship will evolve, you know, whether it's you know Democrat or Republican in the office, that this relationship is, is so important to U.S.-China relations, and also this is probably the most sensitive issue in U.S.-China relationship. And since the relationship is the single most important bilateral relationship in the world today, how do you think the new U.S. president and his administration will try to handle and manage this cross-strait relations issue? Uh, this is a very, very interesting question, that actually. Uh or everybody in Taiwan, we try to figure out what, right. <laughs> how they manage these relations. Uh, from American perspective, of course, they try to maintain the status quo. Yes. As long as Taiwan never declare independence, or as long as China never you know, launch military attack against Taiwan, mm -hmm. then uh, everything could be stable and the status quo could be maintained. It's mm -hmm. the best for the Americans. Mm -hmm. But the question is, what do you mean by status quo? That's right. Uh, from American perspective, status quo is frozen. Is the yeah. status quo. Uh, from Chinese perspective, the status quo is tentative. Mm. Maybe eventually China will be reunified. From Taiwanese perspective, the status quo it depends. Yes. So, so what do you mean by status quo? There's got independence or uh, one nation, two governments. That's Actually, right. we still have internal debate. So our internal debate, or uh, we are still in the way uh, struggling to reach internal consensus. Mm. So in this way, so it will uh, determine the pace or how fast we move toward the tongue or the, the cross strait the tongue. Yes. So in that case, uh, um, Americans, of course, they try. Uh, of course, they, I think they are very happy to see if we try to ease the tension between the two sides of the straits. Mm -hmm. But uh, they also very concerned with the pace. Uh, two candidates uh, are talking about on sales to Taiwan. Both uh, uh, Senator Obama and McCain they agree you know, support on sale to Taiwan, but they have a different opinion about whether or not to sell submarines to Taiwan. That's right. And uh, McCain said, of course, you have to can sell submarines to Taiwan, but Obama said no, no, because they are going to. They are now they are trying to ease the tension. They have peace talks. You mm -hmm. don't have to sell the offensive weapon to Taiwan. Mm -hmm. So uh, it seems that uh, uh, once if Obama Obama is elected, mm -hmm. then he will strongly encourage the peace talks between two, uh, two sides of the streets. Mm -hmm. But the question, as I just mentioned, uh, how fast? Uh, if the pace of the dialogue uh, is um, compatible with American interests, right. then that would be fine. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, just like uh, the talks between two Koreas, mm -hmm. sometimes the American government will talk, talk, tell, tell, uh, tell the, the South Korean, don't move that fast. So that's the, that's the question. Mm -hmm. uh, Cross-trade relationship never exists in political vacuum. Mm. We always have to reach some consensus or tacit agreement or understanding with China and the uh, United States. That's right. Uh, even our president, they gave us uh, an interview to Western press. And before that interview being published, they had the, public, no, the, the content have to go around the That's three right. parties. So it's a very delicate. It still needed some political wisdom to manage it. Mm -hmm. But on mm -hmm. the arms sales, mm -hmm. you know, you said the two major candidates do differ mm -hmm. about the kinds of weapons that should be, you know, sold to Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, uh, you know, about a month ago, after a long delay, that we finally saw the five items. That will pass the first in uh, you know, April of 2001, mm -hmm. uh, being sent to the U.S. Congress for final approval. Uh, but the fact of the matter remains is the cross-strait relations, the overall environment, mm -hmm. you know, back in 2001 and today in 2008, are very, very different. Uh, but the fact of the matter remains is, do you think with the new president in Washington, would it continue? Uh, its obligations under the Taiwan Relations Act to sell weapons of defensive nature to Taiwan, uh, would that be you know, something of a complete overhaul, uh, reevaluation, uh, if the cross-strait you know, rapprochement or the tongue mm -hmm. continues mm -hmm. uh, under the current president that we have, Mr. Ma Ying-jeou, 
and this continued policy uh, to establish institutionalized dialogue mm -hmm. with Beijing. Even we signed the uh, uh, no, truce treaty, yeah. truce agreement, or any any or peace agreement with Beijing. Still, we need to protect ourselves. Right. I think it's also to Americans' best interest mm -hmm. to protect Taiwan. Mm -hmm. um, so protect Taiwan, and so can maintain the status quo. That's yes. a, I, I think I don't I don't think it will the whole policy will over, overhaul dramatically. Okay. They will continue to support, uh, no, or to, but to what degree to, mm -hmm. to protect Taiwanese security? Mm -hmm. But uh, of course, it, no, the so-called protection or on sales could cover the whole spectrum. That's right. So the two extremes, and there are many shades in between. Yeah. So it depends on the, uh, whether or not we can rebuild mutual trust yeah. between Taiwan and the United States. Yeah. So we can, they, they, it will determine you know, to what degree we can get weapons. Yeah, two things that I was able to pick up from my discussion with American scholars and visitors mm -hmm. to Taiwan is that, uh, uh, like you said, uh, the United States government, no matter it's Democrat or Republican, are very much, you know, concerned of uh, cross your relations mm -hmm. and how the dialogue or the relationship is evolving, you know, uh, since the last few months and also in the, you know, immediate future. Uh, but the uh, United States does not seek mm -hmm. to necessarily participate mm -hmm. in the process, mm -hmm. but it does to be, you know, does want to be, you know, priorly consulted on major developments uh, on this issue. So I think that is, you know, one thing that mm -hmm. is very, very important. Mm -hmm. And the second thing I was able to pick up from discussions with them is that, you know, no matter what happens with cross your relations, mm -hmm. the decision that's of course up to the Taiwanese people. But mm -hmm. as you mentioned about what defines a status quo, I think Washington has made it very, very clear. Maybe the definition of status quo is how Washington sees fit. Exactly. So I think you know that's another you know variable to be you know you know concerned <laughs> with in the future. Yeah. And going back to the other mm -hmm. you know sensitive issue mm -hmm. in cross your relations is regarding Taiwan's international space. Mm -hmm. You know since the inauguration of our president Mr. Ma ying uh, there's been that policy of diplomatic truce mm -hmm. uh, with Beijing. So everybody you know hold steady and will not try to subvert you know, mm -hmm. in the diplomatic, you know, arena of your relationship with mm -hmm. other countries around the world, and you don't do that with us. But the fact of the matter remains is, you know, international space is not only important to our government, mm -hmm. also very important to our people. Mm -hmm. And with the APEC unofficial summit mm -hmm. uh, coming up in November, and also next year in May, when we have the WHO participation, you know, coming up again, do you think there's likely to be a compromise that's acceptable to all three sides, you know, U.S., China, and Taiwan, mm -hmm. that for Taiwan to be, you know, able to take part in meaningful participations and activities in international arena. Do you think that compromise is likely, is possible, or is still remote? I think it depends. It depends because I think that uh, the diplom uh, the truth in uh, diplomacy uh, is a good idea. Mm -hmm. But I am looking at the three litmus tests. Okay. okay, one is uh, of course you mentioned the APEC, yes. an official summit. But I, I don't think uh, you know, this summit in because in the two you know, in the near uh, too, too close, close yes. too close. So it is impossible to have a, a breakthrough in the near future. You know, even mm -hmm. next year, I don't think they have a, a find a way to compromise. Have my angel wear another hat <laughs> to attend this official summit. Yes. But another litmus test we can you know, closely mm -hmm. monitor the development. One is uh, you just mentioned WHO or mm -hmm. WHA. Yes. Uh, be the organization or assembly. Um, Maybe Taiwan can take part in this assembly as mm -hmm. a, a kind of a guest or associate member or observer or whatever. And now the third litmus test is Paraguay, our relationship with Paraguay. We all know that the Paraguay is under the heavy pressure from neighboring states because all the neighboring states recognize China. Right. Paraguay is the only country in, in, in South America yes, that recognizes yeah. Taiwan. Yes. Mm -hmm. Of course, no. China, if China wants to show their goodwill or have a positive response to Ma Ying-jeou's diplomatic truce, and uh, he keep Paraguay mm -hmm. in Taiwanese side. Yes. So we look at Paraguay, we look at the WHA or WHO, 
uh, at least these two litmus mm -hmm. tests to see whether or not the truth can really work. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we will immediately rearm ourselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. But let me ask you, though. I mean, uh, we know that the international space today is mm -hmm. very important to our government as well as to our people. Mm -hmm. But the, the world's changed, you know, and the you know, concept of international space is mm -hmm. also changing. Mm -hmm. The American government has already stated repeatedly that they support the meaningful participation mm -hmm. uh, for Taiwan in the international arena. You know, what constitutes meaningful participation, <laughs> <laughs> nobody really knows. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Maybe you know, as an international relations specialist, uh, Professor Liu, you can share with our viewers back home, is the sense that w what would constitute meaningful international space today for Taiwan, you know, in view of the maintenance of peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait? So-called meaning, meaningful participation, that means uh, we want our voice to be heard. Mm -hmm. um, so sometimes we can be, uh, well, I don't know if an uh, associate member, I just mentioned, observer or a certain special you know, status mm. to let our voice to be heard. Mm. I, I think we try to reach a, a, a kind of understanding with uh, Beijing mm. or, and with the uh, United States. Yes. And uh, as you mentioned earlier, the three parties have to, to, to work out That's to right. try to see a solution. And uh, uh, Hu Jintao also want to have a, you know, so to have a good relationship with Taiwan, and Ma Jiu want. So both leaders in two southern states, they want to, de to improve the bilateral relations. Mm -hmm. But what they need is uh, the possibility and the political wisdom. Yeah. It will take time, take yeah. some time. Yeah. And also they need that political will you know, to exactly. with, you know, exactly. withstand the domestic pressure exactly. on this issue. Yeah. Thank you very much, Professor Liu, to come to the Taiwan Outlook. I uh, hope in the future, when we have another the subject of your interest that we can have you back as our guest. Thank you, my pleasure. Thank you for watching another edition of the Taiwan Outlook. I'm your host, Raymond Wu. I'll see you next time on Macroview Television. Thank you.